cool. So yeah, yeah, I mean, cool stuff. So um, yeah, I want to check in. And so, do you think? Uh, I mean, first of all, do you have any questions about what we're trying to do and like what the program is and things like that? Or I mean, I, I did I did a lot of reading and uh, it sounds really interesting. I mean, uh, I think I like the model, and I, I think I saw some of your co I saw um, your response to one of some tweets yesterday, and I kind of followed. Through, yeah, and did a lot of reading and uh, looked into some of the past programs, and I think it's something that uh, I believe people in Nigeria will be interested. I believe definitely there are people in the system that will be interested. Yeah. Um, the question is the first question there is: Can people mm. pay the price ticket? I mean, this is like a Western market thing. Like the price ticket for the nine days right now is thirteen fifty, which is a lot of money. Yeah. You think that's that's a lot. Lot. Um, <laughs> so what do we do about that part? So, I mean, the first thing is, uh, I mean, that's, that's a, is a lot of money in Nigeria. That's, that's about, about let, me, let me do the amount of there. Because, yeah, because this, I mean, this kind of model, we've we've shown that it works around us. Mm. But, yeah, this is new territory. That's about, that's about 487 thousand naira. Which is uh, quite a lot, really, to be honest. I think it's quite a lot. I think, um, based on the content, I think the people are going to teach a lot. And I think uh, maybe something around 300,000 there, 300, there. I mean, how about that to USD? Yeah, so we're going to be doing. Um, Something between eight hundred dollars and one thousand dollars might really work out, but then I think uh, I think four hundred thousand is lost, and the only way to probably uh, show people is that if there is no value, we, um, you can demonstrate that there is no value coming. But then I mean, mm -hmm. I would say, say I probably can point to a few people who pay three hundred thousand to get. That level of steam, uh, yeah. People, I, I mean, just just super expensive conferences and stuff like that. But then, um, I think anything above that really becomes very huge. It becomes um, it kind of it really kind of uh, breaks the. It becomes a kind of it's something for the airlines. So it becomes oh no 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 that event is something for airlines. So but then I believe. I mean, it's something that you may have to test at times that um, if the value is there, certain people might find it quite, uh, quite a fair amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then and the consensus will be maybe something less than a thousand. Years. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think? Um, I mean, what do you think that this, um, in terms of realistic product development, where you know people are starting up entrepreneurial activity, actually building stuff, do you think that can take off in in Lagos? Like, yeah. is there an audience? Yeah, I mean, Lagos is probably um, maybe maybe followed by Rwanda, maybe maybe followed by Kigali. Lagos is probably where you have the most entrepreneurs energy in Africa. I mean, people are trying to build stuff, everybody wants to start a company. I mean, everybody has a side also that is ready to start a company. So it's quite crazy. So. Yeah. Yeah. What, tell me about what you do for a living. Like, what's, what's okay. the main thing you do? So the company you said, um, working with like AR stuff, is that like the most thing or? Ah, okay. So, uh, uh, so, uh, as an in the personally, I think, um, so what I do basically in full time is, is um, I run an adware consultancy, adware design consultancy. So basically what I do is I work with a bunch of startups in the country, maybe about six or seven at the moment, and um, up them through product design, product development, and stuff like that. So that's the full time, right? So design I, consultancy, and is that for, is that electronic, like power electronic design? <laughs> Yeah, electronics, electronics, electronics design, yeah, hardware design, IoT and stuff. 
So that's what I do full time, right? So, but then on the sides, I, I, I am a maker. I, I, I like to make stuff. And I think I like to, maybe for a while now, I've been active with the community and helping a lot of, helping to develop the other community space in Nigeria. So, on the side, I think uh, I have a couple of community projects. And then there's one, um, one of them which I take very seriously is, uh, is the uh, code book project, which basically teaches um, people, kids in the rural yep. community yep. to code. And, like, I think I dropped the link. Yep. The, yep, you did. No. Oh, yeah. So, and uh, I mean, it started with just teaching kids, right? Going we into teaching women, 3D printing, and stuff like that. I mean, I mean it's been fun, different kind of stuff. So, Mm -hmm. um, and where do, well, where do you teach it? Do you have um do you have an office? Like do you have three D printers there? And how where do you do that? Yeah, yeah. So so we work with um, different partners, G Garage in Lagos. Uh, but yeah, in my office I have a three D printer. But then when you want to teach a large scale, I didn't have enough three D printers to teach in large scale. So basically, what we we'll do is we we'll work with um, about two companies in Nigeria, um, the G Garage. G has a uh, local garage in Nigeria with 3D printers and stuff like that. And um, YTF. So YTF is like a Youth for Technology Foundation. It's just like a foundation trying to advance adoption of technology skills and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, but aside that, I do a bunch of several other things. I mean, um, Stops community, different people, silent projects. I mean, quite a number of things. I mean, I'm not sure I can really do all of them to do that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's cool. So, regarding the curriculum, um, yeah. what do you, I mean, what do you think about it? Do you think that's, you know, you, you read it, it's pretty packed, right? So, I mean, do you think it's possible to do it? Is yeah, it? I think I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's huge. I think there's a lot to learn for people, and I, that's that's one of the reasons why I think um, some people might be okay with the price. That's I mean, because I think there's a lot of knowledge packed into it. But then I think it's something that can work. Yeah, something that can work. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have um? Can you get all parts shipped to your? Is there issues with supply chain? No, not really. Um, no, no. I mean, we ship parts from China and every day and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. uh, what what platform do you have? Like Amazon and eBay. Um. So basically, when you want to buy electronics and stuff, so you buy from Alibaba or AliExpress or things like that. Uh -huh. so, well, maybe Amazon if you can if you can find what you need there. So, but then locally. We have, uh, we have, uh, I mean, the two biggest uh, online um, e-commerce websites are probably Jumia Konga and they both based in Nigeria. So, what's it called? Jumia, Jumia and Konga. J U M I A and K O N G A. Jumia and Konga. They're like the biggest e-commerce platforms in Africa, so they're based in Nigeria. That's like the Amazon of Af Africa? Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's what they call it. <laughs> Jumia, oh, cool. And Konga, Konga is the second one. How do you spell that? K-O-N-G-A. I mean, yeah, I don't think they're going to be a problem. Yeah. They're going to What level of, so, you, I mean, I saw you do the articles like the, the power factor and stuff like that. 
uh, how much training do you have in the power electronics side? Um, I mean, quite a lot. So, um, so my background is electrical electronics engineering, right? Um, but then besides that, I grew up in a, um, my dad was an engineer, all my brothers are engineers, you know, so I grew up in that kind of background where everybody in the house was holding a sony iron and that stuff and everything like that, so, I mean, I grew up with that kind of background, so, um, but I think, I mean, I've worked for both companies in Nigeria, and I've done remote for companies abroad. So I think uh, I would like to sound pretty vast when it comes to electronics, devices, iOS, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I saw you um, on a couple of tasks that you do. You oh, could yeah. do those couple of things. Now, let, let me ask you this. So. So how much time do you have these days? Like, for example, because one thing, like because of the amount of curriculum that's in there, we might mm -hmm. have to hire some people and, but that we need some money for that. That means we can possibly get money. I'm drawing up a budget for that. Would we be able to also hire you to, to do that? Or maybe you can help us find people that can do that? Because a lot of the curriculum, I mean, I'm kind of like coming up with... Uh, a spec with a work spec for that but would you be able to commit more time if you were getting paid like to, to help on the development part yeah i think i would love to i mean so, so for me i think um i mean at sites being paid and stuff like that maybe if you go to my linkedin or some of the things that i do yeah um i think i'm specifically passionate about uh getting uh about not really about developing Africa in the sense that yeah. give people opportunities to assess skills and things like that. Yes, so, yes. So, I mean, money aside, I think what you're doing is something that will provide that kind of opportunity for people here to acquire the skills. Yeah, so, absolutely. I mean, so definitely, it's something that we really spend some of my time. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, the challenge is right now, like, so my pain point right now is. I've been at it for about three weeks or so, three or four weeks. I've been trying to get people, and you see the 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 document where you put your uh, your name on it in the red, but there's a lot of missing parts. Like st it's not a lot of people are saying yes. It's like which which is, I mean, in all honesty, I'm I'm super surprised that I'm I don't have the the whole thing filled already, right? So it's slower than I thought, and that's why I'm saying we might have to actually end up hiring some people because I wanted to run the events like January, February. Um, ideally, I would do that. Would January or February work for you? Sorry, um, um, you, you cut, cut out, out your, your voice. voice. Uh, can you... Sorry, can you hear me now? That, I, can I can hear you now, now. yeah. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Oh, sorry about that. So, um, yeah, January, February is fine. It's fine. Um, one thing I think I can do is I could take a look at, I mean, one of the things I was trying to do initially was just not put my name everywhere and say, oh, I can do this, I can do this. Can right. Do this. So maybe one of I can do later on is maybe take a look at the document and see where, what else I can come on board with and help handle since we're kind of running short of people and short of So that's one. Okay. Um, secondly, I think... I think organizing the event will not be a problem for me, really. I mean, I probably organized, uh, I, maybe I've, I, I probably lost count, but yeah. there's probably no hardware, night, hardware event in Nigeria that's taking place without yeah. me having sort of hand in there. So, yeah. I mean. Hey, do you, do you know Emeka? Yeah. Oh, I know okay. him well. Oh, and, cool. So, yeah. um, so y you guys talk about this stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I saw I mean, you. You I had him. Uh, I mean, yeah, I remember. Yeah, because you, you know, I know him from TED, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, he, he's the guy that got me into TED. I mean, oh, <laughs> he, oh, he, he oh. found out about our project and pretty much uh, he he uh, suggested us for. He's a great guy. Yeah, yeah, great guy. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. Now, do you have other friends that like? Okay, if we take a look at, because I'm, you know, I'm working on distributing the tasks in the curriculum. The, you know, in the product ecology. So um, mm. let me paste that in. So you're looking at the same page there. But in that list there, we need a bunch of names. Mm. Do you have friends that, uh, you know, I mean, people who can do some of the other parts if we need to? That maybe... Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I think I have a couple of people I would Okay. I mean, good guys, yeah. Some good guys. So, so are people, um, you know, like in terms of open source culture, because, you know, there's limits to it. A lot of people, like when they have open source products, mm. uh, a lot of them, like once they get a real product, they, they close it up. And there's a lot of challenges to that. So, I mean, wh how would you say that? How does it work in Nigeria? Is that culture like really true or is it fake? Or? Um, so, I, I mean, just like I said in the tweet yesterday, one of the things that people have been doing in Nigeria is open source. But then that's because the awareness is not yet there. I think for software, it's been very good. People have been doing um, impressive open source work and look at software. But for hardware, maybe just uh, maybe just a few a few bunch of guys who understand what it is. And uh, one of the things I've worked on was uh, uh, open source de development board. Not really like an Arduino. But it's, but it's something like an Arduino, but it's based on uh, an APIC and stuff like that. So, I mean, so we've created that. So, one of the things we've been trying to do, uh, um, I am also a member of Oshawa. And um, so, one of the things I've been trying to do was to establish an Oshawa branch in Nigeria. Uh -huh. And so, just to get the open, whole open source movement kind of really going. And um, so, I think people understand the fact that. Um, they need this need for knowledge sharing, but uh, I think but I think we still have days in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. No, it's like I think, unfortunately, we're still in the dark ages of it because no one has really outside of rap rap. Yeah. Uh, but rap rap, like even there, like nobody noticed, you know. Yeah. 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 So, no, we're we're we want to change that, and you know that's. I yeah, I think, I think it's noble. I think it's sweet. So how do you think it's going to change? What what would be required for it to change? No, I, I think we just need more. I mean, there's been a lot of advocacy from me and a couple of guys. And uh, there's been more. So there's this um, we, there's this group now, Admin Nigeria, which I chair currently. And um, so the idea is to... We like bring together other developers across the country because you just have this guy in one corner doing his own stuff, that guy in one corner doing his own stuff. So what we've been trying to do is to bring together the community and um, gradually share ideas, share. So just just because uh, I mean one of the beliefs that made us launch the world with Nigeria thing was because is that when we come together, we have to support one another. Like, Sorry, you cut out there. Uh, I can't hear you now. Can Can you hear me? Okay, there you go. Yeah, um, no, sorry. No. So, so open hard, so hardware Nigeria, which is not you're not calling it open hardware Nigeria. You're saying hardware Nigeria. Well, we're working on the Oshawa branch in Nigeria, though. But then we want a big umbrella body fest where everybody comes together first, and then we can now start and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. In, in Nigeria, like, so, okay, say we had to find some of your friends or other people. I mean, what, what do people charge if we're talking about, like, professional engineers or designers no. like yourself? What, what do people get there for I mean, doing design work? It obviously depends on the skill level. And uh, so maybe some of the guys that we want to bring in are probably um, quite experienced and right? Yeah. And, uh, but then, I mean... 
It's probably not as expensive as you will have in the US or anywhere else in the world. Maybe Nigeria is not so expensive when it comes to cost. So, um, for nine days, right? Right? Yeah, so that uh, well, I was saying, I was saying more if we had to hire some talent to actually yeah. develop stuff like you know say we've got some engineer friends that we may may buy yeah. their talent if we need additional elements because there's there's a whole load of stuff that we still need to do for the camp right um i mean what, what do they charge for design like design work like for example let's see Yeah, can you hear me?
Uh, can you hear me? Okay, I can't. I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. Can you hear me, Emmanuel? Okay, you are muted if you're on. <laughs> 